Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac. I recently released a video on production theory where I explained average products, total products and marginal products. I will drop a link to that in case you missed the video. Uh, today I will be taking you through uh, total products, marginal products and average product curves. Now total product is the output after employing all resources, while uh, total product TP is equals average product times input. Why a uh, marginal product or less average product is equals to a uh, total product over input. Why a uh, marginal product is equals changing total product over changing input. Average product is simply uh, output per laborer or per worker or per input or per labor. Why marginal uh, product tries to explain what will happen if the input is changed what will happen to the output what will be the change now this curve represents total product average product and marginal product why this is the input uh, this is the output now these are the values so these values can change this represents the value of each of these curve total product average product and marginal, uh, marginal product so i decided to number it for you to know that it's actually uh, the number or the breakdown why this is the various unit of input this is the unit of output so this is the origin starting from zero now look at the curve total product average product and marginal products Okay, uh, you see, I've used different colors to show them for it to be better understood. Now, take a look at it. As average product, they both start from origin. Now, at average product is increasing because these are the values. As you are going this way, you are increasing here and you are increasing this way. So, that is what increase shows in the graph. As average product is increasing, marginal product is increasing. But look at it. As they are both rising, the marginal product is higher than the average product as the both rises. Now, the marginal product begins to drop, then average product begins to drop. But as, at the point where they begin to drop, you notice that the marginal product begins to be lower than the average product. As they, both, as they are both rising, marginal product is higher than average product. But as they both begin to reduce or drop, the marginal product is now lower than the average product. You notice that, right? Now, as the boat uh, comes down, uh, as the boat try to reduce, it gets to a point whereby the average product is equal to marginal product. So at this point, AP is equal to MP at the point where they begin to drop. So at, at that point, average product is equal to marginal product. So these are the stages of production, stage 1, stage 2, and stage 3. Now take a look at this. As total product gets to maximum, this is the maximum value of total product, marginal product gets to zero. So you may be asked, what happens to marginal product when total product is equals maximum? When total product is maximum, marginal product equals zero. Gets to this uh, zero. Now, look at something else. As the total product drops, then the marginal product becomes negative. Because in a graph like this, this is positive S, this is negative S, this is positive Y, this is negative Y as is. So, as the total product begins to drop, the marginal product tends to be negative. Why? The average product hardly gets to zero because the average product is basically the average of this and this and it is the total product over the inputs or the load. So this is a graph of uh, total products, marginal products and average products and that is the interpretation of the graph. Hope you like the tutorial. Why not subscribe to this channel to get more tutorials like this. Thank you.